Hey guys, uh, we've got some recruiting questions uh, from parents that we're going to start uh, going over. Um, I'll try to answer these on video as much as I can, and also we'll probably uh, write some of them down and answer them in, our, in the blog that I have. Um, but the first question today I got was, how can we get a quote-unquote late developer some recruiting attention? Um, it's it's pretty much the same as an earlier developer. You know, you've got to <laughs> you've got to get in front of the coaches, and they've got to see you. It really doesn't matter what you think or what the kid thinks or what his coach thinks. You know, ultimately that coach is going to make the decision if he's going to recruit a kid. So he's got to get in front of those coaches, whether it's playing on an established team like the Dirtbags, if it is you know using his references. Um, he's got to attend you know showcases. He's got to attend camps at schools that he can actually play at. Uh, and also, if he's later in the process, you want to probably invest in some video. And I'm not saying you need to pay somebody to do your video. You can, you know, that's great if you want to do that. If you have the resources to do it, it's it's easy and simple. Um, but you can also make your own video. So and initiate the contact. Initiate the contact with those coaches, especially if it's later in the process. Especially if you're a 2018 grad right now and you're trying to get some attention from schools. You know, having uh, some video is, is great. And then having some references who maybe even have uh, some sort of history with guys going uh, to play college baseball, or maybe they've got some history with the program that you're interested in, so on and so forth. So that would be the best way to uh, get some recruiting attention. All right, the second question is, what time of year do most college coaches really spend their time recruiting? Uh, goes on to say, you know, uh, Easy answer is all year, but they have to coach their own teams in the spring months. Uh, curious if that means later in the summer, in the fall, or the better times to see recruits. Well, you kind of answered your own question. The spring is really not a good time for college coaches to get out and watch players play because they, they, they do have their own uh, team to deal with. Now, I'm not saying that they don't get out and watch uh, kids play in the spring, but it's tough. So... You know, really Mondays is the only day that they would have off. Now, I would do that. When I was at Forsyth Country Day, we tried to – I was a coach there for three years from 2009 to 2011, and we had a lot of kids move on to play college baseball and to get drafted. Um, but I tried to play as many Monday games as possible. You know, I wish more high school coaches would try to play more Monday games, and they would also try to play games earlier in the day – but they all want to have the seven o'clock game, you know, to to try to you know help their gate. Which yeah, I understand that. That's it's part of the gig. But uh, from from a recruiting standpoint, if you have kids that want to play college baseball, trying to get those coaches to to come uh, watch you at a seven p.m. game, well, odds are you know they're going to be playing their own game, you know, at seven p.m. But if you had a game at four o'clock, uh, a lot of those guys, and especially if you play on Monday, so I would try to schedule as many Monday games as possible and as early as possible. So. Um, <clears throat> the spring is just not a great time, you know, for, for the, for college coaches. The summer is number one. The summer is the number one time for college coaches to get out and watch you play. And then in the fall and the winter, you know, you got the fall season. Now they got their own season, their own practice season going on during their fall, but they are more active, uh, you know, because they're not playing games. Coaches or assistant coaches are more likely to miss a practice, uh, to go watch, you know, high school guys play or junior college guys play. Uh, in the winter months, the later in the fall, in the winter months, you've got camps. Um, so summer's number one for sure. All right, and the third question today will be the last one we do. Uh, this is this is a pretty good one. Do college coaches really recruit kids at their camps these days, or are those more about revenue opportunities? These are popping up all over the place these days with colleges having their own camps for high school kids and they are raking in money, but it's all the name of recruiting. Curious what percent of those attending actually get legitimate looks at these camps. So I'll try to break this up in a, in a couple of different uh, parts of your question. <clears throat> do first, do coaches really recruit kids at their camps? Well, of course they do. Of course they recruit kids anywhere. You know, if it's at their camp, somebody else's camp, uh, a game, a practice, in the batting cage, wherever. If a, if a coach identifies a player and thinks that that kid can help his program win 
and represent his, his program and his university well, well, he's going to recruit him. It really doesn't matter what camp he's at, but certainly he's going to recruit him at their own camp. Uh, and you mentioned all about, you know, is it all about a revenue opportunity? Well, certainly camps are there to generate revenue. Um, I don't know a camp that's out there that's really not trying to generate revenue. There are, there are expenses involved. Um, and then you're also generating revenue for college coaches who are clearly underpaid. Uh, they're, they're funding the program in different ways too. Uh, you know, boosting their travel budgets, you know, just, just in, in, in general, just boosting their program. I think that's wonderful. I mean, I know there's nothing wrong with uh, college coaches, you know, trying to generate more revenue. I don't know anybody that's in business and on college baseball in college is a business. Uh, I don't know if you're in business to lose money, then you're an idiot. Um, but lastly, you know, what percent of those attending actually get legitimate looks? Well, I think that's impossible to answer, and you probably understand that. Uh, a lot of coaches do advertise on their camps that, you know, 13 players on our active roster uh, attended our camp. 17 players on our active roster attended our camp. So a lot of schools, a lot of the bigger programs, you know, have kids who come to their camps at younger ages or, or later on in high school, and they go on to get recruited and, and get scholarship offers or, uh, you know, and go on to play at that university. Um, but the percent, I mean, I think it's impossible, you know, to even try to guess, you know, every school is different. You know, not every school has a lot of camps. Some schools have a ton of camps. So it's, it'd be impossible to try to answer those. So um, I hope you guys enjoy that. You know, if you have any other recruiting questions, uh, send Roxanne Markey at the Dirtbags Baseball at gmail.com. Send those over to her and uh, we'll try to answer them uh, the best we can. See y'all next time.